Jenny Gates, The Garden, The Garden, Jenny Gates. of activity. Barbecues, parties, basketball, football, and my personal favourite, tag, you're it. Mum's favourite was the garden. Her green thumb could turn any patch of dirt into a blooming miracle. There were the usual suspects, azaleas, camellias, gardenias, and, and something called tibicina. Anyone? No. Mum was always planting, planting, watering and weeding while everyone admired and appreciated her hard work. Everyone except me. I didn't get the garden. Did I mention the weeding? <laughs> but then a recent turn of events has helped me to see the garden as something completely different. Contest chair, ladies and gentlemen. It's hard for me to believe that almost 20 years ago, I moved to the other side of the world, left behind my mum, two brothers, two sisters-in-law, and a handful of very young and yet to be born nieces and nephews. Equally hard for me to believe is that in those almost 20 years, I've been back 17 times. <laughs> Although that does account for my exceedingly low bank balance. <laughs> but also the strong bond I have with all my family. Now I say all my family because it wasn't always sunshine and roses for mum and me. Mostly mother-daughter issues over boyfriends. The language, young lady, and my hair, which mum wanted short and curly. So I grew it long and then got it straightened. <laughs> It didn't help our relationship when I moved to the other side of the world. But fortunately, time and distance have a way of mending fences. And finally, I'm able to appreciate how amazing and funny Mum is. Her dream job, testing mattresses in shop windows. <laughs> And even though she's blinding one eye, Mum saw more with her one eye than we did with our two or four or six, depending on how many of us were looking for the car keys, the wallet, the other sock. <laughs> Mum remembered everything except sometimes people's names. But she had a really neat trick. She'd ask, I'm sorry, what was your name again? You'd say, Cornelius. She'd say, oh. Sorry, Cornelius, I meant your last name. Huh? It worked every time. <laughs> and then there was the garden, her pride and joy, where so many wonderful memories were made. Memories that, unfortunately, Mum is slowly starting to forget. Last May, I made one of those trips back to Australia after Mum had a really bad fall. Age and dementia were taking their toll, and it just wasn't safe for her to live on her own anymore. Still, moving Mum into a senior's residence was not our preferred option. But there is no denying the peace of mind that comes with 24-hour care, proper meals, and friendly new faces. The hardest part for Mum was leaving her garden behind. She didn't want to forget about it and was afraid that no one would take care of it. So I told her I would go back there on her behalf one last time. As I walked into our old backyard, I remember the last time we were all there together. Me, my brothers, sisters-in-law, five nieces and nephews. And Mum, pottering around in the garden with a cup of tea in hand, making sure that everything was okay. And that's when I knew it wasn't just about the garden with the azaleas and the tibicinas. It was about love and laughter 
forgiveness and family. It was about the things that mum had planted in us. We are her pride and joy. We are her garden. I think dementia is insidious and useless. I mean, what is the point of making someone forget the things that are important to them and the people they love? And for those of us who are helping a parent, partner or friend make sense of what is happening to them, there doesn't seem to be a lot we can do, but we can keep them safe, make the most of every moment together, and remember on their behalf. Which is why, ladies and gentlemen, very soon I'll be making my 18th trip back to Australia. I know the time will come when Mum forgets that I am her daughter. But it will not be this time. This time we'll talk and laugh and fill our memory smorgasbord with stories that will last a lifetime. And as much as I can, for as long as I can, I will make sure Mum knows that everything she planted in the garden is going to be okay.